Welcome back to Investing and Trading Live, sponsored by Trading Academy. As always, I am your host, Josh Lilliquist, in the last segment. Talked about different opportunities that all these markets are presenting us. There's obviously we're near all time highs, and what's the interesting thing, Al? I've been seeing in uh, in the news. You get you know everybody has these silly apps that gives gives them updates and little banners of what's going on, and you see all these things over the past. I mean forever that the I don't know the exact stat, but it's like seventy or eighty percent of people, or not even ninety percent of the people, don't have enough to retire right right and then you see i think it was this past week was the uh 401 there's there's more 401k millionaires now than ever which is kind of a, a confusing statement because if they're saying one thing and then saying another thing the other uh the next week what do you believe for one but here's the problem is if there's more 401k millionaires right now but there's still the majority of the people don't have enough. The people were already probably already well off as far as several millions of dollars. So you don't really know what is actually being said out there. Um, so you know, I want to discuss a little bit of that probably in the third segment. But I just wanted to throw that out there just for people to understand what you see and hear on the news and all these apps. You don't want to make your decisions based off it, and you don't want to be in those camps. Obviously, if you want to be a four hundred one k millionaire, then you know that's you know some people might want to be in that camp. I would prefer billionaire because a million dollars isn't much these days. So, uh, but in these investing classes that we that we have all across the metro, we talk about concepts and techniques, so that way you don't have to be in a group of people that don't have enough or in that unhappy group, or whatever the, the stats that are coming out. And it's really controlling your own destiny. So I want to invite you to an investing class right here in the metro area with these classes during the day and on the weekends. You can simply come into these classes by just texting the word investing to the number 210-210. And that's for two seats, one for you and one for a friend. Text investing to the number 210-210. When you get a, get a text back instantly, there's going to be a link to our landing page. From there, you can pick your own date and time for this class. That way you can make it on your own schedule. All across the metro, Al teaches these, I teach these as well. And we go over concepts on income, which we'll cover in this segment here. Wealth, but and also protecting those portfolios. So text investing to the number 210-210. Also, we appreciate all the subscribers and followers. The podcast is blowing up right now. Uh, we're trying to make this the global number one financial podcast in the world. So... Go to Investing and Trading Live, wherever you listen to your podcast, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Spotify, if you do miss part of the show. So, Al, with this segment here, you have the the income strategies that people are grown, brought up with. Go to school, get a good job, put those work boots on, bring your lunchbox to the job site, and then go to work. You're supposed to work hard for your money. And granted, a lot of people work very, very hard for their money. I know a lot of people that work very hard but they're still broke. And the problem is, it's not about always about working hard or even smart. It's about working right. And we're seeing a lot of people that are trying to bridge that gap of working hard or just working smart, but working right. They want to put their dollars that they actually already have. Because obviously in trading and investing, you need money to invest. So they want to use the capital that they have Utilize it in the the market for an income strategy because that's working right because the markets, some are open 24 hours a day, so you dictate your time and it allows a lot of flexibility. So when you're helping people that are coming to the academy that are looking to fulfill that as far as a strategy that's designed to create income, what are some of the steps that you're walking them down that right path to get to where they want to be? So if you're talking about income, let, let's start out by talking about how you as a, as a retail trader, how you are looking at achieving income. And, and by income, what we're talking about is, is money that you are going to use or need to use or want to use on a short-term basis. It's not something that you're going to wait 10 or 20 or 30 years for. It would be like you get, going to a job interview and them saying, well, we're going to hire you. You look like a great candidate. And uh, here's how we pay you. Uh, You start working tomorrow. You put in your 8 to 10 hours a day. We will pay you in 20 years. Sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah, what a fantastic offer that would be. Well, that's how most people are are invested in the market. They're more long-term. 
Income has to be something you achieve short term. And for a lot of people, maybe it's to replace a job or maybe people uh, are not very confident in the, the longevity of their jobs. You know, we've got, you know, technology has replaced a lot of jobs over the years. Uh, artificial intelligence is going to do that uh, on steroids going forward. Mm -hmm. So what are you using for income? Most people will say, well, I have a, a CD or I'm, I'm investing in bonds and I'm getting maybe two or three or four percent. Well, the problem wah, is wah, if wah. you right, even if you're getting five percent, and a lot of savings accounts or, or uh, market, money markets now are maybe paying close to five percent, that may have dropped down a bit. But when you look at the impact of inflation on that at, at over three percent, that takes. I mean, is a couple percent, one to two percent annually, going to really do much for you? No. So how do you do? How do you generate income where you can have returns that are much greater than that? And those are different strategies. People are basically using outdated strategies for income, and I'm also going to say for for wealth. Just in general, they're outdated strategies, but especially for income. There are assets that you can use that we teach, and in these classes that Josh is talking about, we'll show you what they are and, and how they work. They use what we call leverage, which means that you can take a small amount of money and have it control something that may be worth 10 or 20 or 50 or 100 times that amount of money. That's leverage. And those assets happen to be short-term in nature. You mentioned uh, 24 hours before. Mm -hmm. There are assets that trade 24 hours a day. You, you, can, you can use the futures market, the foreign exchange market, and basically choose when you want to trade on a 24-hour basis. You know, the stock market's open six and a half hours. That's what most people are invested in, whether it's individual stocks or, or mutual funds. The world does not shut down when our stock market shuts down at three o'clock here centrally. Correct. It, it continues to go. And what happens in the world can have a big impact on where our market opens and what's going to happen the next day, the next week, the next month in the market. And so, you really look at what happened on really Monday night into Tuesday with the futures market, and it opened up much lower. Exactly. And, and some of these markets, say you mentioned the futures market. Even if you're a stock trader, you can use what's happening in the futures market to make better choices with your equity trading. But the equity trading, stock trading, which is what most people are involved in, whether it's individual stocks or mutual funds, they're, they're, they're using that in a way that is probably not the best way to use it. Those are not leveraged assets. They're more long-term. And the assets we're talking about would be the futures market, the foreign exchange market, the options market. Um, most people don't know much about them because people aren't teaching you mm -hmm. them. And to, to be honest with you, Wall Street doesn't want you to be able to do that. They want you to be able to to feel you need them. They, they want you to think that those things are too complicated. So what you hear is all the negative news out there. People that invest in these things lose a lot of money. 80% of the people that invest in options lose money. It's called conditioning, Al. It's called conditioning. And if 80% are losing, what does that mean? 80% are winning. There's two sides to every trade. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you want to know how to be on the side that is going to be the winning side? You want to basically, let's, let's keep it simple, just you want to be able to trade with the big banks, with the Wall Street pros and not against them, they're using the assets we're talking about. Even people like Warren Buffett, who most people would say, well, Warren Buffett tells you to buy stock and hold on to that for years. Mm -hmm. Warren Buffett makes probably 8 to $9 billion a year trading options. Yep. He, he it, doesn't tell you that. It's the old saying, do as I say, not as I do. And it's all the conditioning that, that you're getting out there right. to do certain things. Yeah, and the, way, the, really, the right way to do it is do as they do, not as they say. Exactly. And that's why you need to understand what those strategies are. And that's why we have these investing classes specifically on these strategies to follow those institutions and essentially do what they do. The great thing is you don't have to be one. You don't have to be a professional. You don't have to be have a license or anything. It's a skill that's obtained and that's learned through practice. So and start to start by coming to one of these investing classes to learn what the futures market is, what the options market is, what the forex market is, what the institutions are using on a daily basis that are available to you. Simply text the word investing to the number 210 210 right now for two seats for an investing class, one for you and one for a friend. Text investing to the number 210 210. When you do that, you'll get a text right back with a link to our landing page. You can pick your own date and time there. We have these classes all across the metro, multiple dates and times. So we talked about those income strategies with uh, futures, Forex, and you did mention options as well. Now, 
with all the opportunities that you had mentioned, I think it was the beginning of this segment where not having to wait 20, 30 years to collect your paycheck, you can do that same thing in the markets. Right. And I think I want to get that point across to our, to our listeners because most people think that and, and don't even know how that actually works. So you open a brokerage account. You know, there's several of those out there. And we talk about all these in these investing classes. But you open a brokerage account to trade whatever asset that you want to trade. Now, let's just say somebody wants to create a second income strategy. How would that work? I mean, do you have to call somebody to get your money out? Can you? Is it like a kind of similar to a bank account where they just transfer it into a? What is that process? So, it is really not that difficult. No, you you just open a brokerage account. There are a number of brokers out there that are that are very good. They're very sophisticated in what they what they provide for their clients. Uh, and we can help you. Just give you some guidance there. But once you open a brokerage account. You can trade without any fees, basically. And one of the problems with using a financial advisor is that there are fees that take a big hit out of what you could have, what could, you know, impact your wealth long term. So in in these individual accounts, you can do this. That typically there's no cost to have that account set up, and then you can choose what you trade within that account. It, it you can trade mutual funds if you want to. You can trade stock if you want to, but. Most of those firms will let you trade things like options or futures or forex. You know, you want to check with the the brokerage firm to find out to make sure that they have availability of those assets. And if not, maybe go somewhere else where you where you can choose to trade what you want to trade. But what we do is we show you how to benefit from these individual assets based on you specifically. Not everybody has the same goal, the same objective. Not everybody starts with the same number and and needs to have a certain amount in two years or five years or 10 years. Mm -hmm. So what do you want? What, What do you want your financial future to look like? And then we can help guide you towards how to get there the most effective and efficient way. And for different people, it's going to be different strategies, different mm-hmm. assets that you use. Yep. But but just know that no matter what you are trading, no matter what you're investing in, the number one thing you have to be concerned about is protecting your assets, mm-hmm. is managing risk. Nobody should go into this unless they accept the fact that once in a while you'll be wrong. And, and that's okay because if you learn how to do it properly, when you're wrong, it will only be a small loss. A small loss can never become a big loss. So yep. that's that's okay. You'll have small wins that will offset that, but the big wins will st- be, still be out there for you. The one thing you've eliminated are the big losses. Yeah, and the great thing about these different assets is they're basically just vehicles is all they are. Matter of fact, I was uh, you know, out of town doing some farming this week up north, and you know, driving up there, I sure didn't want to use my side-by-side to drive there because it would take me a while to get there. Quite frankly, I'd probably get a ticket for driving on the highway for that. But what do I use out in the field, out in the woods? I'm out there on the side-by-side. So using the right vehicle that's designed for what you're looking to accomplish. And the same thing in the markets. You want to have the right vehicle to get to where you want to be. Futures, Forex, phenomenal for income strategies. Options, also a great income strategy asset. Great for wealth as well, which we'll talk about in the next segment. So stay tuned for that. So it's just having the right vehicle to get to where you want to be the most efficient way possible, but also with the capital. So really, you know, there's a couple things you really need. you got to have the time to learn it, obviously. Your schedule dictates which asset that you trade. So some people say, oh, I don't have enough time to do this. Okay, well then find an asset or a vehicle that's designed for when you do have time. If it's in the evening or if it's the early morning or if it's daytime, it doesn't matter. There's markets open that are open 24 hours a day. So, And then uh, capital requirements are different as well. People say, oh, I don't have enough money to trade and invest. Well, if you have a, a couple, I would say a couple thousand dollars set aside, minimum two. You know, if you're listening right now and you don't have 2,000 bucks to invest, it, it'll, it, it quite frankly, will be difficult. But I would say even if you got hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, maybe start with 5,000 because those dollars have leverage, which gives you efficiency. We have classes specifically on how to be efficient with your capital, how to ha- use leverage properly, safely. That way you can do that with confidence. Simply text the word investing to the number 210, 210 right now for two seats for an investing class to get started on these leveraged assets. Text investing to the number 210. 210 right now for two seats. This is Josh and Al. We will be right back.